Hi Sagittarius. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do your quarterly reading for you for April, May, and June. And on the top, we are going to take some cards that will be with you for all three months. And then down here, we will separate it out into months. Okay? So your first card is, nothing is yet set in stone. All right? Now, let's get a card about love. This can be any kind of love. Self-love, family love, romantic love. Just all depends on what comes up. All right, and only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, let's see what we have. Have patience. Love is patient and kind, always. Okay, and now let's get your overall energy for the three months. And you might check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if this does not resonate with you, or for a more complete picture, okay? Let's see what we have. Okay, the Ten of Air, the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. And that part's wonderful. A weight off of your shoulders. The end of an addiction. A melodramatic reaction. So it could be any or all the above. Alright, so this is an ending. Which, of course, is going to bring a new beginning. Okay. And it's saying to have patience. Mm-hmm. And that nothing is yet set in stone. Now, one thing about that ending, <clears throat> excuse me, um, spring is coming in, so are allergies. Here are the swords that can be potentially hurtful. However, it is probably going to be a huge relief where you get to go towards your happiness, okay? Let's get all the other cards. Okay, this is a beautiful energy. I love this energy. The Six of Water. Children or childhood. Revisiting old dreams or plans. Embracing your inner child. The return of people or romances from your past. Romancing how things used to be. But I do think it's more than that. You see, this little boy is giving this little girl a flower. And to me, that adds care, compassion, and love. And there's an angel back there watching, you know, helping to guide them. So I think this is a nostalgic energy, but I also think it is a very caring, compassionate energy. Okay, let's get a spirit animal to go with that and see what they would like to share. Overcome any obstacle, the rhino spirit. Okay. And I can see this potentially going in with this. All right. Now let's get your overall energy for May. Beautiful. Okay. The eight of fire. It says too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, potentially business travel. So once again, any or all of these. Um, what this means, short version, <laughs> is that 
you have a lot of fast moving positive energy coming into you or towards you. Okay. It's all positive, but there is a lot of it. So to me, that's a good thing. I'll take positive over negative any day. Okay. And also something to note, this is energy. So if you change your energies, these energies can change as well. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. That might be because you have so much going on that saying, don't deal with challenges and, you know, hard decisions. This is a time to take care of the small things, pitter-putter around, maybe take a little vacation, walks in the woods, things like that, because there's plenty of time to make big decisions. And it's saying this is a time not to do that. Maybe it's a time to absorb some of this positive energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, looking at the cards so far, I can see here, overcome any obstacle. So maybe this has this challenging time. So maybe now it's time to relax and not, you know, stress over anything. Okay, now for June. Beautiful. You have the Queen of Water. Loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights. Caring for others but forgetting to care for yourself. Is Yeah, I don't know about that one. But I can see how it is because this is a mother archetype. Trust your intuition. A deep love of family and friends. Follow your heart. It's a beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's get a spirit animal for this. And then we can take some clarifying cards where we need to. Which I would say your overall energy for the three months might be a good one to take a clarifying card for. <laughs> the I think this is probably the best or one of the best cards in this whole deck. And it usually doesn't come out very often. The cow spirit. The miracles are endless. So you have some beautiful cards here. Mm-hmm. You do. All right. Let's get a clarifying card for this overall energy. With my itty bitty cards. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles. And what the Knight of Pentacles is about is the Knights, all Knights, are very hardworking. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. They are very thorough, very methodical, um, wonderful planners and implementers. They have a goal. And they are going to achieve that goal by being extremely thorough, okay? If you want a new, or if you're having a new beginning, which you are, they're a wonderful energy to have with you because they will help to set a solid foundation because all the T's are going to be crossed, all your I's are going to be dotted, everything will be taken care of as it should be. They're a wonderful energy for a new beginning. Okay? So, talk about this for a brief moment, and then we'll take some cards. This is an ending, which is bringing a new beginning. And it looks like maybe it's a combination of the ending and beginning that you are going to be very thorough. Okay? So this might very well, and it looks like it in the image, be a self-imposed ending. And it can have 
sadness with it. And I'm sure you can think of many times when there have been endings, whether it's yours or somebody else's, where they really wanted to move on to something else, but it still brought some sadness with it for whatever reason. It doesn't have to, but it can. But one thing it's certainly going to do is bring a lot of relief because you can leave this behind and go for this, whatever it is, this new thing that you want. Okay? And here it says, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Okay? Here, nothing is yet set in stone. All right. Now over here is a nostalgic energy, one that I think is filled with compassion, care, love. And it does bring back these warm, happy memories. And it does say that there's a potential for somebody from your past to come back into your life. Now, your rhino spirit talks about overcoming any obstacle. Maybe we should take a card for that. I mean, that's a good card. You, this is saying you can overcome anything. So that's not a bad card. Or a challenging card, rather. But it might be interesting to see if it'll give us any information about it. If it's talking about something in particular. <laughs> you have the Ten of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. This is saying that you and everybody you love are going to be very happy and content with your life. So, you can see the rainbow. It's beautiful energy. So this is not talking about any obstacle. It's talking about, well, don't want to cover up its face. <laughs> okay, that's better. It's not talking about the obstacle if there is one. It's talking about the outcome. If there is an obstacle that you have to deal with, the outcome is that you and everybody you love are going to be very happy. So that's beautiful. And here, very fast-moving, positive energy coming in at you. Here it's saying, during the month of May, or around that time frame, don't make hard decisions. Save that for later. What you need to do is take time to refresh yourself, okay? To chill, enjoy your time, because those decisions can be made after you're refreshed. Here is beautiful. Both of these are beautiful. The mother archetype, the queen of water, or the queen of cups, totally trustworthy. And what she does, she does out of love, because that's who she is. You know, she wants to help. That's beautiful energy. And here, the miracles are endless. So what could be a challenge looks like it is transforming into something beautiful. So yeah, this might be a self-imposed ending because you can see what's, you know, coming, what's waiting for you. Love, lots of positivity, beautiful, trustworthy, loving energy, and lots of miracles. But it says have patience, okay? So let's get a few cards. And let's start with April. Your first card is the High Priestess. Very nice. This is telling you to use your intuition, that you are in touch with it. So if you have any questions about anything... Go within. Use your higher power, your divine feminine energy, and your intuition because all the answers that you're looking for lie within. Okay? And that could have to do with, you know, over overcoming any obstacle. That could have to do with anything here because the energy, which is what this is, is not going to be confined to months like I have it set up. If it wants to flow over here, it can. Or over here, maybe this is talking about this change that you're creating. Okay? But it's saying that you're in touch with your intuition 
And that is what you need to use to find your answers. Okay? Yeah, that looks like a beautiful time right there. Mm -hmm. Lovers. Hmm. And I know these are children. <laughs> and it talks about potentially somebody coming back from the past. Maybe you are going to meet somebody and have a romantic relationship. Or maybe you've known them from childhood and they're coming back. Or if you're already in a relationship, it could talk about a resurgence, you know, of this love. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get one more card for April. <laughs> okay, this talks about you being very happy and content with your life. Okay, let's get some cards for May. Oh, you have two. The King of Swords, and this is on top. Okay, the King of Swords bases everything on what they know to be truth. They rule from a place of authority, but they are all about the truth. So the truth is very important. And here you have the very best energy in the deck. You can get no better. And it's falling right in the center. Okay. Right underneath this. So I believe this is saying by you creating this ending, it's going to bring in a lot of positive energy. And you're going to end up with the sun, which is the best. Beautiful abundance, happiness, joy, prosperity. It is the shine your light kind of energy. And that the angels are with you. This is a little cherub. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Let's get one more card for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you know the Empress, another absolutely beautiful energy. The Empress is very powerful, as is the Emperor. She is very abundant. Abundance flows to her, love flows to her, happiness, joy. She's very prosperous. These energies flow into her, okay, which is wonderful. And she is also the mother archetype. So you have two cards that are the mother archetype, which is very loving. And, you know, they what they do, they do out of love. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go on to June. You know, and as I look at that mouse spirit, I'm also seeing this. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Maybe it's got something to do with that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, you have some of the very best cards in the deck. This is a Ten of Pentacles, like the Tree of Life. This is a very lucrative time. It's um, very abundant. It's a beautiful time. This is where you want to take what you have and share it with the people you love. This is the card of leaving a legacy if you choose to. Fabulous. Mm-hmm. Those miracles are endless. Beautiful. Okay. Here's a midpoint energy. This is talking about that 
you have put something out there and you're waiting to see how it's received. Okay? Basically. And it's saying, don't just stand there and wait. Take action. Go for and towards what it is that you're wanting. Help yourself. Okay? Oh, and just in case you'd like to see this, at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, you have the Ten of Cups. Here you have the Nine of Cups, and here you have the Ten of Cups. And this says that you and everybody you love are going to be very happy and content with your life. Beautiful. And you are dropping all of the burdens. Another, to me, this is a very good card. Mm -hmm. And it might very well be making reference to this card because here it talks about dropping all the burdens. Okay, so let's talk about this for just a minute. Beautiful, and then there's beautiful, and then there's wonderful. Okay, the only challenging card you have in this whole three months is the overall energy for the whole three months. And it's not even necessarily a challenge. It all depends. It's being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, which is wonderful about if you're starting something new. They help to build a solid foundation, okay? By being very thorough and meticulous, wonderful planner and implementer. Here it says the end of a situation that brings relief, right there. Sadness, you don't see anywhere where there's sadness. Or both. The opportunity for new happiness, which is throughout here. A weight off of your shoulders, which is there. And is the end of addiction, a melodramatic reaction. I don't see either one of those. So there might not be much in the way of sadness, but there is definitely a lot in the way of dropping the burdens. And here, it's helping you to have your new beginning, okay? And remember, have patience. And here, it might be hard to have patience because this looks like a really busy time. Maybe that's why this little mouse is here. But do have patience because it talks about patience. You know, how's it worded? Love is patient and kind always. Okay. Okay. So April is this beautiful nostalgic energy. And it says you can overcome any obstacle. It doesn't say the obstacle. This could be the obstacle. Resulting in total happiness. And we also got that at the bottom of the deck when I, you know, I was taking some of the cards. So you got that twice. You and everybody you love are going to be very happy. And this looks like that to me. Use your intuition when you have any questions because you're in tune with it. Here is the lovers. So that could mean a romantic relationship. Here you are going to be very happy with your life. May, lots of positive moving energy coming into you. And it's saying, tend to the small things, don't make big decisions. And it might, like I said, be because... So much is coming in that's positive that either sit back and enjoy, don't let yourself get overwhelmed, have patience, pitter putter around, take a vacation. Everything needs to be about the truth. Okay? Here, very best energy in the deck. Can't get any better. The abundance, the happiness, the joy, um, it's lucrative, it's Beautiful, the very best. And the Empress, she's right up there almost. This is saying that abundance, happiness, joy, everything, love flow into her, and she's very powerful. Okay? Here in June, you have the mother archetype, the queen of water or cups. She's extremely trustworthy. And like I said, mother archetype, she's all about the love. What she does, she does out of love. And the cow spirit, miracles are endless. Here, it is so 
wonderful that if you want to, you can leave a legacy for everybody you love. Here it's saying, don't wait for something to come to you. Go towards it. And here, you're dropping the burdens. You don't need to carry the burdens anymore. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think there's anything we need to take a clarifying card for. Beautiful reading. Okay, so let's get some cards from the universe. See what they would like to share. This is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. You do. You have some fabulous cards. The sun, the empress, the ten of pentacles, the cow spirit. <laughs> Just, yeah, great. Okay, here it talks about you need to make a decision. And I think this is probably referring to this overall energy. Do you stay or do you go? Okay. It could be referring to something else, but that's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, um, you're trying to decide if you should stay or go. And it looks like by going, you have all this wonderful energy coming in. I think this is referring to the same thing. You're trying to make a decision if you should stay or go. And here, you put yourself in isolation for a time to answer the questions that you're looking for. You're using your intuition to make decisions. Yeah, I think all three of these are talking about this card. Which would be, I would say, somewhat soon. Mm -hmm. Because we are close to April. And at the bottom of the deck, you have this card. Where, I think what this is saying, maybe we should put it over here. There. Okay. You're needing to make a decision. You put yourself in isolation for a time to answer the questions that you have because something has happened in your life that has been very, very challenging. And it's to the point that it's, you know, making you feel cornered. And you know that you need to get out of this. And here, this is the Eight of Swords. This is the Ten. So, it looks like you progress to this 10. You make the decision to leave whatever this is behind, resulting in you being very, very happy with your life. And every one of these cards here supports that. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's a beautiful reading, and I think the uh, universe is kind of explaining what leads up to this. And here, what comes from you making the changes. Okay, let's get some charms. Now this is for April. Wheat. Okay, this is growth. This is financial abundance. Okay, it's beautiful. And it also kind of reminds me of this card. Okay, so much abundance and growth. Okay, now for May. <laughs> yeah, a compass, finding your true north. Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Here, yeah. And the sun, looks like the sun too. This is saying you are finding your way. Mm hmm Where you belong. Okay, one more for June. 
Then you have a flower. To me, it's a, it's a flower in bloom. So to me, what this is saying, this is your happiness. And it is blooming. It is coming into fruition. Okay? So, interestingly, both of these are plants. This looks like it's being harvested. But they are both in full bloom or in full growth. And here you're finding where you belong. You're finding your true north. Beautiful. Okay, I Hope this helps, and I hope you have a wonderful three months. Much love. Bye.